Okay, YouTubers, if you saw the last video about how I how to set up the school bell, now this is a part where you can create your own tones. So, what I usually use is Audio City, so I'm going to close this out. And go to your browser, just so I kind of like the, how to install the school bell. I'm going to go to Mozilla Firefox here. So, click that. And you're going to want to type in Audio City. There's Audio City, the first result up here. And click the search if it'll cooperate with me here. Well, you can click download. Audio City Team. It can be Source Forge. Usually I've seen it under Source Forge and AudioCityTeam.org. But you're going to come to this window here. And you're going to click Windows. for Because it won't work. The School Bell program doesn't work with the Macs. It only works with Windows. Up to Windows 10. Now. Here, you're going to want to click your Audio City 2.13 installer, which it might be different. It might be different by the time you watch this in the future, so it might be a different version. And you're going to want to click Save File. And any of these ads that pop up, don't click on those. This, those are scams. It's just ad pollution, I like to call it. So you're going to want to click this. Click run. Click yes. English or whatever language, country you're from. Whatever you prefer, you could change it. But in my case, I speak English, so I'm going to click OK. And you can close your browser window now. Now you're going to click next. And if you want to take your time and read this agreement, knock yourselves out. But I'm just going to click next. And make sure to agree with the agreement if they change it. So now we got C programs, files, IC. That's correct. Just go into your C drive directory. Click next. Create desktop shortcut. Whatever you prefer, I'm going to create one and click install. I'll put the link in the description as well to make your life easier with finding Audio City. Next, and launch Audio City. And to get rid of this window for popping up, just click this window, click this checkbox here. Do not show this again at startup if it gets really annoying for you and click OK. So here's where all the magic happens right here. How I create my basic tones. You're going to want to click generate. You're going to want to click tone. So go under the generate tab and click tone. And you get your different waveforms. Most common tone I make is 600 hertz. So I'm going to do 600 hertz. Now I got sine, square, and I'll show you each of those. So here's a solid tone. Now to make it, how I make it short is I select the chunk I want to get rid of. And here's a tip. All you do, hit the backspace. And that's how you shorten it. And if you feel like, oh, I don't want that anymore, how can I redo my actions? Click Edit, click Undo, Delete. But I'm going to make it like two seconds. So, that's how I do it. And now, you're going to also need another extension to make it an MP3. And I'll get around to showing the different sign for the different waveforms after I'm done doing this. So I'm going to click export audio. 
Now, I usually keep it under my downloads, so I'm going to click my username, which is Akuna7, because that's what I like to name my computers after. <laughs> Excuse me. So, click downloads. That's what, You can put it wherever you want, your desktop, but I'm going to put it under download. Now, you get all these different format options here. Wave is usually the default that Audio City sends. Now, the School Bell Program does accept Wave, but I like to put mine in MP3. So, I'm going to click MP3 file, and that's how I get the link to my description. So, I'm going to call it... So, this is the extension that it takes you to that you're going to need. So, you're going to want to click download. It's called a lame extension. Lame MP3 converter. So, now. Okay. So, I am back with you guys after figuring out where the link is at. It's it's under the installing the lame on Windows here. So it's right under here, under that section. Go to external lame download page. And this is usually the recommended. Ignore this ignore all that ad pollution, I'll call it. That's all junk. Don't click on that stuff. But you're gonna want to download this right down here. Where my little cursor's at. Lame version 3.99.3 for Windows. It might be different by the time you watch this you know, way in the future. So just keep that in mind. I usually click the first one. You could do zip as well, but I like to do executable. Same procedure as like Audio City. Click Save File. And my download's up there. So it looks like it's done. Click that, click run, and click yes. Now close your browser, because there's no need to leave it open. Now click next, click next. You could read this all you want. Knock yourselves out by clicking next. And now you could click install. And it's finished. Click OK here. And we'll try this again. I'll call it Bell 600 HG, HG, which stands for Hertz. And there you go, just click OK. You can put in whatever you want there, but I usually leave it blank. And there you go. Go to my downloads, and there it is. MP3. Now, you could close out your city after making your tones. You could do whatever you want. You could put whatever hurts you want. You could even put a dog whistle if you wanted to. So, there's school bell right here. Now, you're going to click settings. You're going to click the settings tab. And let me see what sign this is going off. So we have 41 minutes till this other bell tone goes off, which will change it. You're going to click the settings tab, click sounds. And these are the three different sound. these are the four different sounds that you get with school bell. Now these blanks are reserved for your tones, whatever you want to put in from wave to mp3. So I'm going to click this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, actually I'm going to go back to my downloads really quick. I'm going to go to my downloads really quick here, where, or wherever you put your tone at. Right click on the file and click copy. And where this window pops up, where, where you get your tones from, right click, right click again and put paste. And there you go, there's Bell 600 Hertz. And I'll zoom it in bigger so you can see. Now these are the other cheesy tones here that I really don't like, but I like my tones. So there's Bell 600 Hertz. 
Click open. Here's bell 600 hertz. Now I could actually adjust the volume if it's ever too loud. Let's say you want it like at 30% of its regular volume. See how it got quieter? But I usually set mine to 100 hertz. Not 100 hertz, 100%. Sorry about that. And then now, you could go back to timetable. Now let's see next time when this is going off. 3.35 p.m. Which I'm going to set way earlier. Current time, 2.55. So I'm going to scroll down. 3.35. I'm going to actually set this to 2.56. Still, 2.57. So you're going to do the same thing again. 2.57. And set it to PM. Because you want to set off at PM. And see how my tone pops up now? There's these other tones plus the bell 600 hertz. Select that tone you want to put in there. And just click on a blank right there. You can rename these lessons if you want, but you can rename all of this column as you want. But I just leave it. And now, now the tone's going to go off in probably like 37 seconds here. So, as you can see. So. Take it off the tripod here and I'll put it to another speaker. Here, I'll put it at this low well above the door here. Let me zoom out. Plus with this Atlas flange horn here too. So it's going off in four, three, two, one. There we go. That's how you import your tones from Audio City into School Bell. So I finally made these videos for you guys. I've, I've been getting a request on to make a video about how to use School Bell and how I make my tones in Audio City. I'll put the links in the description to the programs and plus the extension. And be sure to click that thumbs up and like this channel. And stay tuned for more videos in the future.